Bang! Knees and eyes. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is chilling out. And today I'm doing a first impressions on some knives that Mike Emler sent me. Now, Mike Emler um, has a great YouTube channel. I've been following him for a long time. He's also a knife designer and uh, makes custom knives also. And he's also a professional knife sharpener. So, Great dude, great dude in the community. Um, I'm going to link his channel in the description. But he sent me some knives, one of which is about to drop any day now. It's a design he has with Artisan. So we're going to check that out. That's why I didn't just do the unboxing because I wanted to give my first impressions on that knife as soon as possible because the knife could be dropping any day now. It was supposed to drop on the 10th and they're running a little late with it. You know, as usual, it's pretty typical, but it should be dropping any day now. So I wanted to give my a great first impression so that if you wanted to go and get it, you know, I've been carrying it since yesterday. So I don't have a long time with it, but I've at least had it since yesterday. This is the Ferrum Forge Gavco Spinner, which this thing has some amazing acoustics. Listen to this thing. This thing sounds amazing. And the texture, I mean, <laughs> you can see what it looks like. It looks like a, a fish. <laughs> thing looks amazing the colors are amazing i mean this this knife is pretty doggone cool i'm liking it a lot so let's get to the next one and i will be doing a um a review on that next one is this one is the ferrum forge ntac Now, I'm not positive, um, one, of, one of these, I'm not sure, I'm, I, won't, I won't give any information right now until the review, but this is the Ferrum Forge Entech. Very cool, not a big knife, but uh, not too small either, kind of in the medium range. It is a flipper. Nice and smooth. This clicky detent. I love the um, like the kind of. I'm sure you know Mike's carried and used these, but I love how this is all scratched up. I think that just looks awesome. One, it looks used, which it is, but it also you know just gives nice definition and character to a knife. I love seeing a knife that is used. Next. Oh, this thing, this one's really cool too. This is the Ferrum Forge Gavco Mako. So, the Gavco Ferrum Forge Knife Works Mako. Awesome acid etch and stone washing. This one has some pretty cool sounds as well. Carol loves this color. She usually likes the, the the kind that's a little bit more on the bluer side, but still, this is a really cool color. Love the pivot. Look at that. The thing is beautiful. But yeah, really, really cool. Man, this thing's got some good ergos. Fantastic ergos. One more. Do a push button. Yeah, really cool. All right, now to the meat and potatoes. So this is the Stonefish. This one's done by Wii. It is in, I think it's an M390 or 20CV. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, 20CV. So great steel. It's uh, a great, like, I guess, utility camp slash tactical knife the ergos are so contoured this is very smooth it's very nice the jimping is, works perfect like i like jimping that actually works and this does work great blade shape perfect this is my kind of blade shape because you can use it you know it's a user style blade shape you can use the tip you can use the belly and you can get push cuts it's got a nice finger choil slash sharpening choil 
so you can get a lot of life out of it. The geometry on the, the blade is fantastic for a fixed blade. Um, you can get a great edge on um, this type of geometry and it's made to cut and yet still be a hard use knife. So that's fantastic. And the reverse grip, whew, you could really get some work done. I'm going to be reviewing this one, but I want to get to the most important part of this video, which is the sea snake. This is going, ma being made by Artisan. Like I said, it should be dropping any day now. And this is going to be a belt slash, you know, uh, neck knife. Look at that thing. Wow. This thing, this, I've been wanting a fixed blade just like this. It's literally a utility style EDC fixed blade. Perfect for urban environments, you know, outdoors, whatever. I mean, it's something you can actually carry on your person concealed or not, you know, you know, whatever, but it's made to cut. This thing is super thin and the blade is, it's not a hard use blade. This is a utility blade. I mean, it's made for, for use, you know, for slicing, opening stuff up, cutting, and you could do it very quickly since it's a fixed blade and it's nice in the hand. It's small, but that's the point. The point is, is that it's a nice little blade. Now I can get a full four finger right here. It's a little cramped when I'm down here, but this isn't the way I'd use it anyways. I would take advantage of the choil, which is a great choil. I can even choke all the way up like this for push cuts. The jimping is done great. You can see the kind of jimping it is where it actually works, you know, once you put pressure on it, it bites. And the tip is very fine very fine tip which i like because i mean you can use it and that's the point of a warren cliff is being able to use you know the blade as a utility knife and you can also get it in because of the you got kind of it's a i'm not gonna say crown i, I don't know if you call it crown but it's kind of rounded in the back you know where you can really get a good grip like this you don't get good cuts like this or for pull cuts um yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. Now, this this steel is done and their new steel. So this is a powdered steel that Artisan is doing, the which I've heard great things about, the ARRPM9. And then there's Mike Emler's logo. Now, focus. There we go. Let me wipe it off a little bit. Now this thing is a laser. It's very, very thin. Let me get the bug out out here and we'll compare the thickness. First, let's do some quick size comparisons. All right, here it is next to the bug out. We'll look at the blade thickness here in one second. And then here is the CJRB Felspar. Uh, pretty close Felspar, just a tiny bit longer. Now here's the Ferrum Forge Mini Archbishop, the one done by Wee. Now I want you to look at this. Yeah, it's a little shorter, but look at the grip. It's very similar. And this, you know, everybody knows this thing feels really good in the hand like this. It's kind of like a Protec PT in a way. Like, you know, because of the choil, you, you almost have to use the choil. You really don't want to be just down here. So look at it. It's very similar to that. Just the, the whole profile. Very similar. So if you have one of these mini archbishops, it's kind of similar to that. Now, let's look at a couple more. Here is the Civivi Elementum with uh, the removable thumb stud. Um, about the same length, so very close. Here's the Benchmade 940-1. I just want to show you a couple bigger knives. Um, here is a Shiro Gurov Hadian. Um, you can see how much bigger they are than it. So I want to show you how small this knife is. And then here is the, you know, here is the Hinder three inch, the XM18 three inch. They are pretty much the same length. So if you know, maybe the three inch is a tiny, 
it's about the same length. So if you know the, the length of this, it's about the same. All right, now let's look at the thickness of the blade socks. They are, I'd have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure they're the exact same. They feel like it going spine to spine. Let's measure the thickness behind the edge. I did one measurement just right in the middle. It was about 13 to 14 thousand. So very slicey behind the edge. What a fantastic thickness because being that thin, it's still going to be strong yet very thin. So you're going to get that really ultimate slicer out of it where you're going to get little resistance you know, when going through materials, yet it's not so thin that you're going to have to worry about it. Um, I love this thickness. This is a great thickness behind the edge. The G10 is nice and soft. And then that is T8, I think. Let's double check it. You know, if you ever wanted to make some micarta scales or something. Yep, T8s. So great hardware, nice big hardware. Yeah, this is a fantastic little knife. And if you guys want one of these, like I said, Artisan should be dropping one any day now. Hoping for Friday, but we'll see. Also, this is a flat ground blade, but it's got amazing blade geometry. I mean, you can see the taper here. If you look right there, you can see the taper. You can see how many sharpenings you're going to get. You know, before it ever starts getting thicker, like actually thicker. I mean, it's a lot of sharpenings. I mean, you're it's it's got you're gonna get a lot of life out of it. Is basically what I'm saying. Um, and it's got such a great taper. The belt satin, love that belt satin. Looks beautiful. Very eye appealing. You know, just looks good. Now let's talk about the sheath. The sheath. This thing fits like a glove. Let me hold this chain. Little to no rattle. I mean, this thing is solid in there. And then look at the retention without me pushing on it. Good retention. Now, let's look at the push. Great retention. You can hear the pop, you know, when it, put, when it puts in. Nice snap. I like that. Man, I think it comes out like <laughs> like a bullet, which I like. I like that because when it's around your neck, which I usually would carry this like scout carry on my back or just right on my side or maybe even up front by my uh, belt buckle, but I, I would usually carry it like that. Now, you'd want to get the loops for it like this or, um, or you know, some type of um, way to buckle it to your your belt, which I think you'd have to get separately, but... You know, you can get a chain. These chains are really cheap. Now, you want, when you hold it, you grab it, and you put your finger right there, and you just give it a little tiny push, and it pops right off. And then you got your knife. Now, on your belt, you would do the same thing. You know, like, say if it was on your back, pop it right out, or on your hip. You can just pull it, but it's easy to just do the little pop right off. Very nice. I like this sheath. It's well done, nice and sturdy, nice and strong. Kydex, looking through the camera. Yeah, well done. You see the little drainage hole right there. So moisture is not going to stay in there. Now this steel, let's talk about this steel really quick. So the steel, um, ARRPM9. Now it's a powdered steel, Artisan did make it. Now from what I hear from a couple people, it's you know more of a budget steel but it's it's got um uh, i guess a little bit better performance because it's going to take an edge very easy and it's going to have a good edge retention you know not like 20 cv or anything but it's going to have good edge retention but the beauty in it in this steel supposedly is the way it strops and hones back so to, to keep an edge on this, you can keep it for a long time just by giving it some straps. And so, like, say, after a day of use, give it a couple swipes on the strap, you're good to go. Where it's not going to 
to keep nicking up and make it to where you have to keep putting an edge on it because it's chippy or anything like that. It's not like that. It's a steel that you can keep going for a long time. And sometimes I find that to be a little bit better performance than some of, say, the super steels or high-end steels. Now, I'm not saying that those steels can't be taken to that level to where they perform like that too, but it's a little harder for production companies to do those steels at that performance. It's nice because a steel like this that they designed and they did might be a little bit easier for companies to do in a way that you can keep getting performance out of it. Meaning like if I go to hone it, um, I can hone it back instead of doing a full-blown sharpening. After a day's use, I don't have chips all in my edge. I can just do a couple swipes on you know, the leather. Now, this thing still has a decent edge and it's been being used and tested and stuff like that. Um, I can tell it's got a little bit of use, but nothing big. It feels like something that would just, you know, hone right out. Um, but yeah, supposedly it's a good I, budget to mid-grade steel. Um, I forget what these things are selling for. I think they're right around the $50 mark. I'm not positive on that. I'll put that up on the screen though. What a fantastic little EDC. I like it a lot. I'm hoping you guys go and check it out. Uh, Mike Emler lives in California. Great dude. Go check his channel out. And I personally, I'm not just saying all this because it's Mike, because I do like Mike, so I am a little biased in that way. But I've also been wanting to get a little fixed blade like this. Like I've been looking to, to handle and, and get a little fixed blade like this. Something I can, you know, hold in my hand and actually use. I live in an urban, you know, more area, so I don't need a big camp knife. This is the type of fixed blade I, you know, I need. And... Yeah, for work or around town or whatever. So, you know, you're not going to see me walking around with even like a stonefish. I just, I, you know, think about it. I can't do that. I live in the Chicago area. I can't, can't walk around with a damn stonefish on my hip. So this is perfect. And even if you do live in an area where you can carry this around, you might not want to. You might want something, you know, a little more concealable or a little bit more friendly to the carry and i don't mean friendly to people i just mean friendly to you something you can carry around comfortably something you can you know you you don't know what's in your pocket until you want it so great knife um great design mike great knife uh both of these also i'm not sure how many of these are left um like i said this is by we now this is a little bit more expensive one is done by we and it's in 20 cv so it is going to be a little more expensive um, I forget the exact price. I think they were in the, the 200s. I know that. So I think they're around 250. I'm not positive on that. So don't even quote me on that. Please don't. But there you guys go. I love you guys. Peace.